Well, good news here is we're not going to be derailing Al just blowing up kids. Oh my God. Did you see that? Come All on. Right, first, buddy, you don't easy, pitch guys. in a game with a hooded sweatshirt. Come on. We're not going to do that here. Oh, we're we going to build some kids up here. Thank you very much. Come on. Let's go. Let's roll some stuff right here. Yes, sir. I believe got? I've got my young lady, Nevaeh, right here, if I pronounce that correctly. Lois, I love the fact where she's getting her hands out in front. Yeah. And look at this. As a first baseman, do you not appreciate, first of all, she put this, so I know they did this in two different days. She's got her red shoes on right there. And now we got a little barefoot action. But I love ball playing in the house. And you yep. can work on your hand positioning. But that backhand right there, that's almost exactly like a first baseman picking a ball in the dirt. That, that, that is that's, that's flawless. Yes. And mom, thank you for allowing this to happen. In, in your league. house. That is big league right there. That's, that's what I like. Beautiful. Next, please. Stacks on. And now, Lois, I picked this one out because look at my man's leg kick right here. Man, and both. what is that one right there, Lois? Placata! I thought you were. I mean, that ball is there. going over there to the tree. See that? Look at that one. Those. And those cars back there, those, those, they're, those they're cars. They're in jeopardy the right here. Yeah, you see them? Look at that one right there from the side view. But Lowe's. the leg kick. Lowe's, we got nothing wrong with this, no, right? No, no, no. Why, why are you going to mess with that? You know, he's getting ready to hit, loading up, and he has one thing in mind, going placa da. Excellent. What are we going to do about like that? that? You know what I like about this no. next one, Carlos? There's a couple things that I really like about this next one. One, let's freeze it for one second. Um, can we do that? Can we freeze it? All right, we're not going to freeze it. We're just looping these let things it, out. Let, let it play. What I love about this is I don't want any kid to say, you know, I'm just going to play video games all day long because I don't have anybody to go outside with. My man's got his pitch back here. Yep. Right? He's throwing it <laughs> off, and he's working like a shortstop, catching it with his left foot going to the ball and throwing into a net that they hung up in the yard, and he's going back and getting another ball right here. So this is just repetition. He's got a flat putt on his hand right here, so he's making sure he's catching with two hands the way you should on a double play so you can make the transfer. And his footwork, I think, is awesome. When you see this ball bounce to this side, watch his left foot go towards the ball. His right foot goes to yeah. his left, and that's exactly like a shortstop catching a ball from his second baseman double play partner and turning double play. So don't ever give me the idea that I can't go outside and play a little ball by I myself. I don't have anybody to play catch with. What? Right here. Let's Cause, go. Because that works for me right there, no it's doubt. Excellent. Let's get to the next one right there. Los. This is real good. All right. So, yeah. Right here, you know, we see him. He's out there working indoors. You see him diving all over the place, right? <laughs> Made, made a bad throw right there. Right, Rip? But one thing I like is this. I know he's got a kid that loves the game and has a lot of passion. That's why he wants to make all the spectacular plays. So one thing I would say is focus on the routine plays. Uh, this happens a lot to kids because they watch, you know, quick pitch right. and all the highlights. So when they practice, they want to make all the spectacular ones, right? When in reality, let's focus on the routine play and then let the spectacular ones take care of themselves. Would you agree with that, Rick? I, I would. But I love the passion, the fact that he loves that. That's why, that's watching a lot of MLB, MLB Network right there. That's what, that's what happens. That's awesome work. <laughs> that's nice awesome. Space. Keep, keep you, it up. If you got space, you can work on ground balls too. You don't have to be outside. I, I love this kind of a setup too, Los, for the winner in the East. You know the Northeast, yep. bad winners and things like that. Guys all get out on that. the field. But do that all winter long in the cage. Keep working on catching ground balls. I, I actually uh, grew up in the Northeast. I came when I was 14 from the DR, and that's what we were doing. Inside the YMCA, in the basketball gym, we're doing these type of drills. What are we going to do? the next one. All right, right here, my man, you know, it's pretty good, pretty good hack. Again, working on his own. As you can see, he's going to get his ball, puts it on the tee, and then swings it. So there's no excuse. So I have no one right now that wants to play catch with me. No, no, no. I'm getting my work in. I'm Lo, so let me ask you a question. You were with uh, Big Jim last night, right? Yes, sir. Weren't you talking about one of the drills when they were doing rapid swing, right? And you said there's no hurry to hit. Mm -hmm. So that's the one thing I would say on this. And I know it's just one clip that we're running over and yeah. over. But there seems to be a big rush from his setup to wanting to attack the baseball instead of maybe a little bit more pace oh, and rhythm yeah. to, to load up to hit. One of the things that, that uh, one of the mantras that people, uh, some of the coaches were, were, were to tell me that I liked the most was slow feet slow and then here's the quickness so everything when you load you want to make sure you're nice and smooth and slow and then your hands are quick so slow feet quick hands and and right here that's what i would tell them it's like make sure you slow your load down 
And then here comes a quick hint. That's the like one the thing we need to focus on. I like the fact that he's got the T set up pretty high and it looks like he's yes. staying on top. Excellent. Working from the top down. Yes. It's good stuff. Let's go to the next one. All right, my man right here from Illinois Baseball Academy. And right here, I see him uh, uh, making pretty good contact right there. That's a pretty good swing right there. That was the best swing out of, out of the three that we saw right there. But this is one thing I would say. You were talking about loading and being slow with the load. Right here, I don't see much of a load, Rick. So what I would like you to do is get a little bit more of a load. You know, gather yourself. Gather your swing, your, your, your body, all your energy before you unload on the baseball. That will help him a lot. Right. Because you're going almost from a dead stop. I like okay? what you said. So, so instead of staying stationary here, like if you were in between these lines, going from here to this way, there needs to be a here to get back almost thinking about touching or getting backwards towards the back line this way before going. Yes. If you could think about the way a, a pitcher winds up, I want you as a hitter, go ahead, you know, go ahead and wind up as a hitter. Even if you exaggerated in practice, and even if in the game you kind of tone it down a little bit, exaggerate it in practice. So even if you are there at home, just exaggerate. Go ahead and leg kick and then take a swing. Even if it's on the exaggerated side, go ahead and do it so that you can get some muscle, muscle memory and get comfortable in the load. Then in the game, it will take care of itself. But so go a little back, bit better load. Get back. Go back before we go forward. Yes, sir. Baseball and everything works. 